If you find this video interesting, then please like and share it. Also, leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for notifications. So let's see the construction of the MOSFET now. To construct a N-channel MOSFET, P-type semiconductor structure is considered as the base or substrate. Then we dope two N-type wells to obtain the source and the drain terminals which form the required N-channel between the two. Thus we get the MOSFET structure as shown. The symbols of JFET and MOSFET are almost the same except that there is a dotted line between gate and the other two terminals in MOSFET. This is because in the MOSFET, the gate terminal is kept isolated from the drain and the source with the help of an oxide layer and the metal is used to make the contact terminal. Thus, this device is named as the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. Moving forward, let's start with the working of MOSFET. Let's consider that VGS and VDS is equal to 0 volts. The MOSFET remains stable but depletion region is formed due to PN junction as shown. Now let's apply the positive VGS as shown. As the positive voltage is applied to the gate terminal, holes near the gate are repelled towards the substrate. Hence MOSFET operates in the cutoff mode. When we increase the gate voltage above a threshold value, all holes get depleted from the depletion region and the gate attracts all the minority charge carriers. This forms the inversion layer near the gate which contains only electrons. This layer acts as a channel and as it contains only electrons, it is called as the N channel. As this channel enhances due to increase in the gate voltage, this FET is called enhancement type MOSFET. Now let's apply a positive voltage to the drain, which is N-type. When we apply positive potential to the drain, the depletion region near the drain widens due to reverse biased PN junction. As we increase this drain voltage above the gate voltage applied, electrons from the channel feel the strong force of attraction towards the drain and start flowing from the source to the drain through the channel. This motion generates the drain current which flows from the drain to the source. Increasing the VDS further, we reach a point where this channel width starts to decrease at the drain terminal and the channel gets tapered and is transformed into a single point. After this point, even if we increase the VDS, ID remains constant. After this point, MOSFET goes into a saturation mode. Thus we can summarize the working of the MOSFET in the following table. When it is in the cutoff mode or saturation mode, it acts as a switch and when it is in the active region, it acts as an amplifier. Thus we observe the following characteristics for the enhancement MOSFET. If you find this video interesting, then please like and share it. Also, leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for notifications.